Hey guys, Woods Farm here. Just going to do another shooting video. We're going to go out to the range and uh, take some shots with this rifle. Some of you may recognize it. This is a classic Canadian deer hunting rifle. Uh, if you're interested, stick around and check it out. Okay guys, some of you may have recognized this rifle, some may not. In its current form, this is a sporterized Lienfield. This is the SMLE. This is the number one Mark III, um, kind of the World War I or the, you know, between wars variation of the Lienfield. Um, this one is in a very nice sporterized stock. Um, you don't often see them quite this nice. But this is an iconic Canadian moose hunting and deer hunting rifle. Um, you pretty much find one of these at every uh, deer hunting camp. Um, obviously, they're getting a little bit less common these days, but there are still guys out there shooting uh, these rifles for hunting. Uh, I believe my father gave me this one, and I swapped out um, the action and barrel that was in it for something that was a little bit better shooting. But uh, overall, really happy with this rifle. Um, it's, mount, it's got a Bushnell Buckhorn 9x3 on it. And uh, not super accurate, but uh, good enough for whitetail deer at under 100 yards, no problem. So we're going to go out to the range. We'll shoot a few groups, and we'll see how good it does.
Okay, here's the results. Uh, 50 meters off the bench. Um, that's my first group. A little to the left, same as the second group. Um, the third round was my best. Uh, a little bit of luck there. I also was kind of holding a little bit on the right side. Did the same thing on the last group at 50 meters. Then I moved back to 100 and uh, was sort of supported off the rail. Wasn't the most stable position. That was my first shot, which I was pretty happy with. But then the next two were kind of out of there. Not so great. But overall, you can see the results with the rifle. Okay, guys, that's the rifle out on the range. Uh, you can see the kind of groups it's capable of. Um, nothing uh, spectacular, but uh, good enough for white-tailed deer. I've taken a lot of deer with this rifle over the years um, at hunting camp on my own property. I've even taken a coyote with this. Um, so this rifle has served me well um, for deer hunting. However, uh, it's time to move on. I'm going to be selling this rifle and upgrading to something a little bit more modern. So there's a couple of reasons why I've decided to finally... Um, get rid of this rifle and replace it with something different. Um, one thing is it's extremely long in its original configuration, a uh, very heavy rifle to carry around in the bush. But the main primary reason is um, I want a rifle that I can shoot and practice with more frequently. And the ammunition cost on this thing um, has just skyrocketed. And even if I started reloading, which isn't gonna happen, um, it's very pricey to shoot this rifle. So I wanted to go something a little more modern um, and something with ammo that's more available and is a little uh, more affordable. That's the primary reason. I am going to miss this rifle. Um, I've been out hunting with this a lot and uh, it served me well. I do have another Leanfield in my collection that is a family heirloom, belonged to my grandfather. Um, it's a number one Mark III. Um, I like that variation a lot better. Um, it still has the iron sights. It doesn't have quite as nice of a sporterized stock, but uh, I will do a video on that rifle in the future if you're interested. Definitely um, like and subscribe to the channel so you can come back and see that video. But for now, I thought I'd do a quick video on this rifle before uh, I get rid of it and replace it with something else. Also, you're going to see a video coming up on the rifle that I've replaced this with. So definitely come back and check that out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.